being lazy when things get tough. Let's talk about it. Roll it. Whoa. Had a great email. Somebody was asking me, hey, what do you do when you start being lazy when things get tough? And is it really lazy or is it procrastination? Well, in yesterday's video, we talked about the difference and how the perception is. In this video, we're really looking at when does lazy really kick in or is it just procrastination? See, when things get tough, it's usually because something's entered your life where A, it's something that you can't actually do on your own, B, something unexpected, C, something that is out of your control or it's something in the lines of you procrastinated too much on everything, now it's piled up, anxiety stepped into the picture, and now you're panicking and you don't have enough time to do everything you promised people you would do, including the promises for yourself. So what generally happens when one of these things occur, well, we step back and we don't know what to do, we pause, we procrastinate on doing the things we need to do, because our emotions have taken over and instead of going and executing, we'd rather go back into that comfort zone and really take our time to not do what we need to do. We're really avoiding our responsibilities at that moment. And on some level, we're accepting the negative ramifications that are gonna occur because we're deciding to do this. Being lazy in this moment really causes us to redefine what procrastination is in that moment for ourselves. If you're doing this, you need to ask yourself, well, am I procrastinating or am I being lazy? Being lazy is a lack of caring to do, where procrastination is some kind of fear that's settled in from you executing the things you need to do, and at that one moment, just like that, you decide to do something that's more comfortable to you than actually doing what you need to do. Now, we do know that lazy happens to all of us. We know that we become lazy sometimes, and instead of doing, you know, we just simply don't care at that moment. We may regret it later, but at that moment, we just simply don't care. So what do we do about this? Well, step one, it's understanding that. Ask yourself and be honest with yourself. Am I being lazy or am I procrastinating? And really go through and understand what you're feeling right now, what your emotions are, what you're experiencing. If you're procrastinating, well, then guess what? You're needing to work on your procrastination skills and you need to get back into the rhythm of working on it. If you were working on it, if you haven't, then you start working on it. I have a whole series on this. I would suggest you to watch that. Go Google everything on procrastination, start working on it. If it's laziness, well, guess what? We're just gonna be doing something very simple. You're just gonna ask yourself, am I gonna regret this decision? Now, if you're saying, yes, I'm gonna regret it, well, the solution is very simple. Get up and go do it, stop being lazy. You're gonna regret it, so don't sit there and be lazy because that regret will fill up and you will feel that pressure down the road when that lazy comes with its gifts uh, when you're gonna pay the piper. Now, if it is a no, you need to ask yourself, where's my emotions at right now? Am I at a super high or a super low? And where am I on that scale for me to make this decision? See, a lot of times we'll make these decisions on emotions, not on logic. And logic being that place where we're at when we're just status quo, we're not too high, not too low. We know what's right, we know rational mindset is kicked in and we're thinking in line with that mission and purpose and the direction we're moving in our lives. So if you're not there, then logically that no, I'm not gonna regret it, is something that you will probably regret in some form down the road. Going back to that example of the credit card, how many people do we know that say, oh, don't worry, I got time tomorrow. Oh, it's okay if it's a couple of days late. Oh, 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 excuse, excuse, excuse. And all of a sudden the credit card never gets paid. That's purely laziness. And on top of that, the regret comes down the road when they see their bill and they've missed a payment and there's a strike on the credit report. So to recap, if things are getting tough and you're identifying things are getting tough and you're identifying that this is part of being lazy, well, ask yourself, is it lazy or is it procrastination? If it's procrastination, let's start working on it. Start hammering out all the things you need to do, baby steps, get things back in check. 
and start working on that procrastination. If it's laziness, ask yourself, where is it on the emotional scale? Why are you making this decision? And when should you be making this decision? This is all relating back to emotional control. It's all relating back to you understanding who you are as a person, where you want to be, that mission and purpose you have in your life. My name is Nico Zorantas. This is MentorsApproach.com. Hit that like button if you like what you see. Of course, hit the subscribe button. And take some time. Share this with somebody who needs to hear this message. Of course, leave your comment below. Leave your story. Who knows? Somebody might be watching this. They might read your comment, your story, and they might like what you have to say. And who knows? You might help change a life. Snow again.